What's up you guys? Tim here. Post Falls Honey Company. June 14th. Out at the North Yard. This is the Big Swarm. This is Big Blue. And you're going to see why I am naming her Big Blue in just a minute. These damn gophers are going to make my hive stands fall. Uh, so, a little bit of work to do. I need to rehive these guys. Uh, it's as nice as it's going to get for the next couple of days. And so I need to do it because there's so many bees in there uh, that they need more room. And so I need to get them out of the catch box and into, into uh, double deeps. So um, I'm going to start setting up. And as I set up, I will record what I'm doing. Got a little bit of other work to do too. And uh, got some feeding to do because I need to feed those guys. There's nothing that draws out there's nothing that draws out frames like a swarm and so there was a bunch of empty frames in there and so I hope they start drawing them out but there's so many bees in there that I need to get them into double deeps and you'll see what I mean in just a minute so first things first are new bottom board and new slatted rack um, once I get the first deep box on there is when I will start the transfer of the frames that are in the catch box over to here and then slide everybody into place this direction so that they know right where they live so uh, that's my plan um, so I'm gonna go grab the deep and then start shuffling frames so the plan is uh, I and so I'm not I know I've got my little tripod with me but the damn thing's not working so plan is this this is the catch box the the whole setup is just a catch box. It's a temporary. This is the real setup. This is Big Blue. Big Blue is in here. Is where all the bees are. They've got to go in here. It's fit. It's cold today. It's 56 degrees and just again with the damn weather. But um, the reason I'm doing this, typically I'll tell people not to get into hives if it's you know under 60 degrees. But it's because of the brood. You don't want to chill the brood. Well, there's no brood in here. They're a swarm. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just move them over to here, plus put on a second deep, which I have already, and a feeder. I want them drawing out this comb as much as I can and as fast as they can. They do have drawn frames in here. There's drawn frames in here. Look like this. Just old drawn frames that they can clean out. Um, one, two, three, four of them, and then four, I believe, in the middle of that one, too. And so um, the next thing I will tell you guys, too, is that when you're catching swarms, you see what that is? You know what I've got there that's ready? Apivar. Yeah. One of the best times to... One of the best times to... Treat is right when, after you catch a swarm because... There's no brood. You can kill so many mites. And so that's the plan there is that uh, once I get them all set, the apivar is going on. So I'm going to start the transfer and I'll film while I'm doing it. Uh, just frame after frame, kind of. So this is what I'm talking about, about drawing out frames. These were brand new frames, brand new empty frames when I hived this swarm. And now look at them. Look at they're just drawing these things out like crazy. Can you see down in there? So let me keep working here and I'll, I'll get some more in. And so again, don't know where the queen is. Don't care where the queen is. I just want to make sure that I get these girls in here and put into a new place. So this is how many bees are in here. And I'm just cruising through. Drawn frames in the middle, empties on the sides. Same with the other box that I put on. And then I'll get the ape of our on and the feeder on. We're going to close them up, move them into position. Huge colony. Huge, huge colony. Heck of a swarm. So I did break our pat ball and patty up. There and there. Ape of our is in. Second box is ready to go on. And then when I put the second box on... I will flip this box upside down and just give it a little thump and get all these girls out of here. So uh, that's the plan on it. I'm gonna get ready to move them into position. Here we go. So both deeps are on 
I'm going to take this catch box and flip it upside down on there, but I'll just walk around here and show you guys. So there we go. I just punched, drilled that upper hole right there. And uh, man, everyone's ready to go. Uh, just about done. Flip these guys over. I'll go get uh, the rest of my stuff that I need. All right, so we had our box flipped over and empty. Um, everybody's in. They're agitated, but we're doing okay. Uh, got everybody out of the catch box in here. I'm getting ready to put on the feeder, and we're going to call it good. And I will um, show you guys after that what I got going. So, two gallons, two gallons. Right there, one, two. Freshly made syrup, made it up last night. One to one, a little Malaluca, a little spearmint in it. We'll throw on our lid. Get out of there. Put thing on before everyone starts finding their way in here. And we're good to go. So everybody's all pissed off at me. But, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube viewers, I present to you Big Blue, my swarm catch from yesterday. Huge swarm in there. Uh, starting them in double deeps. Yep, I am. Withdrawn comb. Not a big deal at all. Um, so what I did was uh, you saw me get them in. Um, did, don't care where the queen is. Doesn't matter to me. Um, I know that she's in there. Got them going. Uh, bottom Brand new bottom board slatted rack. Mm -hmm. Double deeps and a feeder. Two gallons of syrup in the feeder. That lid doesn't go with um, this hive. I have the lid for it, which is also painted. The outside is painted blue, but um, it doesn't fit. And so one thing that you want to do is I don't want any bees finding their way at all up into this feeder. And so, as you can see, I've taken and I ran uh, tape. I ran Gorilla Tape up there. Now, a uh, swarm this size is going to go through that feed in no time because they have no food, no nothing. And so you saw me, got the Apivar on, got pollen patties on, and so everyone's just hanging out. But once they find that food, they should draw that food down um, in no time. And what will be cool about that is that um, it should take them till about the end of the week or a little less. By Wednesday and Thursday, it's supposed to be nice enough to fly, they'll find forage, they'll know um, where they live, what to do, where to go, and that is when, I'll probably give them two weeks. I'll probably take that feeder off in a week, or check it in a week, probably by the end of the week, and then um, give them uh, another week and look for brood in there because she should start laying very soon um, anyway so that's it man that's big blue that is big blue I've got a little bit other hive work to do which I might do here today um, I've got one really really small little nuke that I would like to get into um, because they are oops, they're super small and uh, they need a lot of attention and so um, I might get into that nuke and put them into a different setup so that's what i got appreciate you guys watching big blue the rehiving of big blue stay tuned for updates and look man the bee yard's getting busy all of a sudden look at that that's nice i'll have to check them they should have a new queen in the next couple days if not already so um you guys have a very very good week and we'll talk to you soon tim post falls honey company